Yo, what is going on everyone? This is Stump of the Chill. Welcome you guys back to another exciting episode of our TLTPG Pokemon Black 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke here on our channel. Now, in the last episode, you guys, more story went through. We went and kicked some Ninja Butt. We went and kicked some Marlin Water Type Gym Butt. And we got our 8th gym badge, but at a very, very terrible cost. If you did miss uh, last Wednesday's episode, please go ahead and check that out. Uh, please go ahead and check that out, because it was a fun-filled episode. Some crazy stuff went down, and, you know, if, if like... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say to that. But, you know, in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on. We're going to be heading up to Route 22, but first we have... Uh, uh, what what town is this called again? It's like it's like moist something, right? Or or something like that. But we need to get an encounter in this town. We need to get an encounter on Route 22. And if I'm not mistaken, just because my memory is slowly starting to come back to me, the more I play Pokemon, I believe we might be getting a Terrakion encounter uh, soon as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and serve and just start things off. Like I said, if you guys have enjoyed the content so far, please leave a like and a comment down below. And let me know what your favorite water type of Pokemon is. Your favorite water type Pokemon. And we're going to be getting an encounter. Our first encounter here is going to be an Ampharos. So another awesome electric type that we can uh, have in the back. So we're going to go ahead and lead off with our uh, Professor X. And we are going to go ahead and go... We're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna go for the bullet punch because I believe that is resisted. It does good damage. It's gonna go for the power jam. Okay, we're gonna kind of speed that up a little bit. It should definitely be able to take one more. Electro ball. Hello. La 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 la. There we go. Thunder punch. Hello. This thing has wild attack strength. We're gonna go ahead and throw a Poke Ball or an Ultra Ball, whatever we may have. We have the Ultra Ball, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and do that. Ampharos is gonna be ours. It's a male Ampharos. I already have the name for Ampharos, actually. I name all my Ampharos kind of the same thing. Confuse Ray. It's a good thing I'm not attacking, but we're gonna go ahead and speed this up now. I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm not even gonna touch it. And it breaks right out. Okay. We're going to go ahead and heal now, <laughs> because that Electro Ball is going to be doing more damage just because we are paralyzed. Now that's actually really cool to think about, static Pokemon with Electro Ball. Powers up the power of Electro Ball, that's really cool. Boom! Okay, there we go, we got the Ampharos. We're going to go ahead and nickname it. Like I said, I already got the nickname. Oop, I don't want that popping up. I already got the name really picked out. We got Edison the Ampharos uh, as, as our first encounter. We're going to go to really... Uh, no, we, you know what? We got full heals and potions. We'll, we'll be able to make... We'll, we'll manage. We will manage. We'll be... We'll, we will be all right, my guy. We will be all right. Where are my full heals? There's a full heal. All right. Um, let's go ahead and continue on. We should be reaching Route 22, which, which, which we do. Do we battle you? We do. Okay. Drift Blim. That's actually going to be a little bit scary, but we should be able to... We should be good. Ooh, hello. Living on just a barely a little bit, but Bullet Punch is going to seal the deal there. Snivy, we're good. Unless we miss. For some strange reason. Alright. Let's go ahead and run up here. Alright, let's go ahead and see what encounter we get here on Route 22, and our encounter is going to be a Slow King. That's actually not that bad. Ooh, but what do I hit this thing with? That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what a Zen Headbutt does to it. It avoids and goes for its own Headbutt. Okay, come on now. Come on now. <gasps> ah, 
headbutt and Z headbutt? That's kind of cool. Uh, but kudos to you, Professor X, knowing exactly when to crit. Look at you, my boy. That's right, we have Dusk Balls and Quick Balls. I gotta remember that, especially for what's coming up. One, two, three. And we got the Slow King. All right, a female Slow King. All right, uh, let's go ahead and... Being bitten by the shelter gave it intelligence comparable to that of award-winning scientists. It stands at six foot seven. That's taller than me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I've been saying that a lot. I've been saying too many things too much. I'm tired. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I got a name. I got a name. Because it's a female Slow King, we're going to name her Labels. Because you can't put no labels on her. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Actually, you know what? Do we... Yeah, we do have Edison on the team right now. Let's actually quickly look at Edison and see. It's a sassy nature, so it's up special defense and lower speed. That's actually really good. That's, that's a really good... Um, Ampharos, for sure. We're going to go ahead and continue on. I want to spray... I really kind of wish we got this Porygon too, because we got the upgrade. We had an up, we have an upgrade in our bag right now. We could have gotten that Porygon Z, which would have been a really cool addition to the team. I would have added that. I really would have added that. But you know, it just, it just, yeah. Oh my gosh, this stupid thing! Come on. This is what I want. We'll drop a super repel so I don't get mad at what's in the grass. I will want to work my way around things, though. There he is! Okay. The one radiating such a tremendous presence before you is none other than Terrakion! It's been a long time. Terrakion is one of the three Pokemon who protected Pokemon from the flames of a human conflict. It seems likely that Terrakion has picked up the scent of danger that emanates from Team Plasma. It's probably seeking a Pokemon trainer who has the strength to stand up to them. It's very interesting indeed that Terrakion appeared before you. That aside, do you plan to, to confront Team Plasma? Hell yeah I do. I see. If that's the case, you must have the power to protect your own Pokemon. Being protected by Pokemon alone doesn't make you a trainer. It's because trainers are strong. Because they care about their fun that these Pokemon can also be strong. Here, this is from me. Oh, this is that thing that, yeah, Chorus's machine. This is a prototype of my device that energizes Pokemon. It doesn't work on battling Pokemon, but you may find it useful for something. A safe journey. Oh, well then, I wish you and your Pokemon a safe journey. Goodbye. Now that I think about it, in the seaside cave on Route 21, I saw something that reminded me of when we met on Route 4. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and save right here, because we are going to put some effort into this direct- Oh, you know what? I actually want a fire type. It'd be, we, Annie, rest in peace, my girl. But we need a fire type. We need a Ho-Oh. We need uh, Moltres. What other fire types are there? Those are the only fire legendaries up until now. Entei. Yo, can we get an Entei, please? Um, if that's the case, who do I want to put up front? Because oh, Kylie's gone, so we can't do anything. Let's go ahead and put Surge up front, just in case, just in case of static. We'll save one more time just to be safe, you guys. I, 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 yeah. Okay. So the first one was Cobalion. Sec, no, no. No, first. Yeah, first one we encountered was Verizion that turned out to be Cobalion. Then Cobalion turned out to be Cresselia. What is Terrakion gonna be? What is that? 
Is it actually a- no, it's not a Terrakion, is it? Is that really a Terrakion? It almost sounded like a Skunt Tank to me, but I know that can't be the case. It's a Regirock. I have the wrong Pokemon in to begin with. Um... So that means I can't use a Quick Ball, damn it. Regirock's powered. Regirock is powered though, but we're gonna switch right into, um... Gonna switch right into Professor X. <laughs> gonna go and start cursing up okay so with this in mind it's gonna start cursing I might want to go ahead and go for the bullet punch because <gasps> while it is stab and it is super effective it's at plus one defense and Richie Rock has an incredible defense stat as well isn't it like base 130 or something yeah look how little that does because for the iron defense you know I might be able to go for a meteor mash you never know We'll speed this up just a tiny bit, just so I can slowly start chipping away down him. So he's at plus four now. Ancient power, that's special, my boy. A little bit more. Flinched. A little bit more. No! Oh, come on! No! Oh no! Terrakion was there! We killed the Red Rock! <sighs> that sucks! Come on, Professor X! You helped with that! <sighs> of course you had a crit there, you... <sighs> Ran past... No... Oh, that just sucks! That just is just... That's just terrible luck. A Grip Claw! I jumped off for a freaking grip club. I have to battle this guy now. Damn it. Ugh. That sucked. Of all times to crit. Of all times to crit. It was like at plus five. That sucked. That really sucked. But we still get one more encounter. Which would be really nice. A Marie... Oh, I wanted to switch out. What am I doing? Go ahead and put a blight screen. It's all good. It's all good. It's not like a Reggie Rock gonna come for you and niche on the special side for like a fire blast or something. Ugh. Oh, that, that, that broke my heart. Like, seriously, that broke my little. Oh my god. That just broke my heart. The fact that I killed the Reggie Rock. That would have been power. That would have been tough to catch. Yeah, but that would have been power. Basculin, oh, we be in here. We here. We here. We're here. Alright, we'll go ahead and speed up a little bit. Ah, boom. Another fossil that we can't use. And this doesn't count as a static encounter because the Amoongus can't be randomized. So we're just gonna run away. A honey, yay. Yes, I do want to use another one. Another Amoongus. All right, come on. I, I, I gotta be happy. I gotta be happy. You know, I still have a team of five. We have incredibly strong mons. We got two more encounters. Another skull fossil. Come on, dude. I wish we could revive the fossils. I wish fossil reviving was not post-game. That just sucks. That literally just sucks. Can I avoid you? I could have, but I didn't. Magmortar. Kind of scary. Yeah, go ahead, and just thunderbolt. Get the paralysis. Fully paralyzed. Okay. Woo! I have a feeling that Magmortar might have had something crazy for me. Into Terra. Into the power that is Terra. Double edge it live, it be living.
Oh, come on, I was right there. <sighs> yes. Okay. There we go. A Dawnstone, yo, that's a, that's not that's that's worth it. That is definitely worth it. We'll go this way. What's over here? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Is there anything over there like worth getting? Maybe. Oh my gosh, I thought I battled him already. Okay. <laughs> Chandelier. Chandel Ch Chandelier. That's a cool Pokemon. Go. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. Money, 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 money. See, this is what happens when I decide to record after a long day. Like I got back from leg day today at the gym, and like my like my butt hurts when I'm just, I, I, mean, I sit on it. I lay on it. You know, just, <laughs> I'm slowly delving. I'm slowly slipping into insanity. But we are in giant chasm now. Let's go ahead and run off this. Hello? Oh! Our encounter is Sacred Dilly! Okay! I didn't expect. I was expecting to pick up an item, but okay. Um, Sacred Dilly is kind of scary. It's level 46. That's actually a very strong level. We're gonna go ahead and throw a quick ball. Start things off. I'm not gonna touch anything. Sacred Dilly, if you wanna be a nice guy. Hey, Cradilly's a nice guy. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Cradilly's such a nice guy. It lives in the shallows of warm seas. When the tides go out, it digs up prey on from beaches. What? It's nasty. Uh, Cradilly, yo, Cradilly is gonna be named. Uh, it's, it's, it's a plant. It's, it's got weird pink things. It's gonna be named. Uh, yeah, we're gonna name him Noodle. I don't know why. I'm tired. I'm giving up on nicknames. I'm giving up. <laughs> so Noodle is going to be our first encounter in here. Oh wait, what did that say? Hold on. What did you guys say? How long does wait until everyone else arrives mean exactly? The area past here is important. People are heading to Route 21 are definitely important, but we have an important role as well. So we have to go back. We could have encountered Pichu. That would have been Species Claws because of Raichu. So what else could we have gotten? I actually kind of want to know here. Boop, 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 boop. No, 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 no. Go back in. What could we have gotten? What could we have got? I'm surprised I am surviving this long in a cavern. Turtrick, that would have been species as well. Look at cute turtle turtrick, y'all. What else could I have gotten? So Pichu, Psychic Gem, Turtwig. Pichu again. What's the rare encounter? There's gotta be something else here, right? I actually. Uh, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Pichu. Oh, come on. Come on. I guess Cradilly might have been the best thing we could have gotten. I'm not finding anything else. Unless it's like a super rare in here. I don't think so. I'll give it one more encounter. One more encounter, then we'll leave. Feature, okay. Right, so I guess Cradilly was the best thing we could have encountered, because it would have been dupes the whole entire way. Or not, no, species. You know, you know what I mean. Can I, can I, can I be let out, please? So we're on, we're on Route 22 now. Where is uh, Route 21? Bicycle dozen machine. I need the town map. Actually, no. We're just going to go to Raichu. We're going to go ahead and fly. Where is Route 21 located? Marine tube. Andela Town Route 21. So we need to fly to... Come on, Undella Town, and from there we gotta go s north. No, well, do we? 
Cause this, cause this is Route 30. Oh my god, didn't I battle this guy? This guy's a mew. Hold to fuck him. Is this how I get here? Hold on, let me let me look closely here. No, that's not the way we go. So where do we go? What is this? Route 21, Undela Bay, Seaside Cave. So there's a cave I gotta surf to. Okay, hold on, we'll go back. We'll go back. We'll go back. We'll we'll, we'll drop off Ampharos. We'll heal and we'll, and we'll go over there. We'll check out our other Pokemon. Or we'll check out our Slokey. We'll check out our Slokey and our Quite Deadly. Okay. No item. So we'll deposit you. What do we have here? Rash nature, headbutt, water pulse, zen headbutt, nasty plot. Confused rate, amnesia, ancient power, gastro acid, modest nature. This thing just kind of suck. All right. So we got a surf in the bay where we caught hype. This is where hype is bone. Andela Bay, or maybe not. Do we just run up here? For a little bit. Wait, did we get an encounter in Andela Bay, or was it just Andela Town? We only got an encounter in Andela Town, so that means we can get another encounter! Yes! Yes! Come on, fire type! Fire type in the water! Fire type in the water! Hashtag fire type in the water, you guys! That species! That species, because we have a Star Ravia! That is species! Come on! Give us something good! Come on, fire type in the water! Fire type in the water! We gotta go past this guy! Come on, go, 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 go! Fire type in the water! Fire type in the water! Starly again, okay. Come on, come on! Fire type in the water! Fire type in the water! I just got the chills. I mean, something's gonna happen. Fire type in the water. Come on. Hey! Hey! I'm not even mad about that. I am not even mad about that. That's freaking dope. Because so I know we have the the uh, the dubious disc, but do we have the upgrade? That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. I should have thrown the quick ball. What's wrong with me? It's at night, though, so we might be lucky here. No, we won't. Okay, so... What am I gonna do to damage this thing now? It's level 30, what do I do? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continuously throw Ultra Balls, I guess. Hey! There we go, there we, there we go, there we go, there we, there we go. The virtual Pokemon, a man-made Pokemon create- I'm sorry, I'll stop. Created using advanced scientific means. It can move freely in cyberspace. You won't remember that show Cyber Chase on PBS. That show was legit. So, make a name for the Porygon. I'm gonna look at the screen so I can really look at Porygon here. Um, we will name him. We will name him. We'll name him Decca. Or we'll, we'll make it lowercase. We'll make him Decca, like Dodecahedron. Or a decahedron if you want to. No, that, hold on, that's just a, actually loads of decahedron. That'll be powerful. Hold on. Deca, I think this is how you spell it. Deca, he. Is it hedron? No, it's gotta be O. Yeah, decahedron. Yo, that's a powerful nickname. Hold on, hold on. Level 30, it's not holding anything. Bold nature, so it's got a. Minus attack nature, plus defense nature, agility, recover, magnet rice, and signal beam. That is kind of powerful. That's kind of powerful. Do we have? Please, please tell me. Please tell me that we have. Oh, please tell me. Please, 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 please tell me that we have it. Um. I have to have an upgrade somewhere, right? We do! <gasps> I pray I, I pray that I set up 
this Nuzlocke, this randomizer correctly because if that is the case I think we might be able just to start switch training this thing and uh, slowly but surely get ourselves a Porygon Z which will be kind of freaking fire! Yeah, let's see what happens. It's one Pokemon, it's Vanilla, because that thing can explode, I know that much. We're going to go ahead and switch directly into uh, Metagross. We're going to go ahead and get Professor X in here and have him use his mutant freaking powers. Ice Beam. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. The Bullet Punch comes off, knocks it out. We actually get another encounter. I know who that guy is. That guy's kind of scary. That guy's kind of scary. Okay. Um. So let's. Oh, do we want to? See, like, what's gonna happen is this guy is like has like a whole team of like rock and rollers or something usually or something like that, and because everything's randomized. <laughs> oh, that hurt. My apologies. Hmm, okay. Who? <laughs> my Rock and Roller and I have been waiting for a strong trainer like you. If you pass, you must beat my Rock and Roller Emmy. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. We'll see if we can do this. Four Pokemon, a Panpour. We can do this. Look at Porygon. Look at Decahedron. Look at Decahedron. Yo, that's actually a really hot name. I am enjoying that name so, so much. Um, what was I going to go to? Search. Grind. I think, doesn't that do more damage the less health you have? It's, yeah, I think so. So we should be able to just knock this out. Decahedron, get to level 31. Okay, we'll leave it there, and we'll, we'll go from there to see if it does evolve with the uh, upgrade on it. If not, we'll all have to look into it. Crunch now. Torkoal will stay in. We'll stay in. One turtle to another, you're gone. Grovile. We'll stay in. What can a Grovile do? Fury Cutter me? Like, seriously. <laughs> Wants to set up, but it's not going to be able to live this earthquake, I don't think. Okay, so it barely lives it. <laughs> going to go ahead and crunch. Agility again, dude? Yes, waste. It's a waste. You're a waste. You're a terrible Pokemon in general, anyway. Terrible Pokemon. Okay, moment of truth. Does this Porygon evolve with by holding the item and leveling up once? <gasps> it totally does, which means we can have a Porygon Z. Yes! I know where- Oh, that's awesome! We're totally adding Decahedron to the frickin' squad. We are totally frickin' adding it. I pray that it learns some awesome TMs. <laughs> That makes me so happy because we were just talking about grabbing a Porygon Z. Oh, it's so awesome. So Porygon 2 now. That would be a really good bulky wall, but, you know, just like, Porygon Z is just like so different, you know? Porygon Z is like one of those mons that, yeah, it freaking evolved. Porygon Z is just like a mon that you never see used in Let's Plays and stuff like that because people usually just like stick with Porygon 2 for like VGC stuff and all that and it's like no let's let's actually have some fun this is what we're gonna do we're gonna have some fun we're gonna go ahead spooky play destiny not power herb play dark charcoal grip claw honey skull fossil dogstone or is it dubious actually have two of them Ooh, what? okay so we'll just keep we'll continue along we'll battle this guy we'll get Porygon Z we'll get Decahedron fully evolved hopefully and we'll end the episode there that's that's as far as we'll go but we do get a first encounter in here we do we do actually get a first encounter in here so uh, Bahiam is here level 50 Jesus crud Synchronoise we're gonna go ahead and go into Bobby. I don't think Behemoth can do anything. To him. Just for the psychic, doesn't affect. Go ahead and crunch. Get bodied. 
Slugma, we'll switch back in the Decahedra, and then from there we will go in... Uh, we might want to go back into... No, oh, we'll go into Torterra. It does have Magma Armor, so I do have to be careful about that. Terra will be able to just Earthquake it, and we should be good. Lava Plume? This is nothing! This Terra's a freaking beast! I love her! Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see. Can, do we can we get a first encounter? We do. So first encounter in this cave. <gasps> we're thirty mi one minutes into the episode, and of course this has to happen. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Save state. Boom. Play the music. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. I was originally going to be recording this episode for Monday, but you know what? This is going to be one of those one of those weeks where you guys get three episodes this week because what a cliffhanger to leave you guys on. What a magnificent cliffhanger to leave you guys on. The fact that our first encounter in this cave is in fact a freaking dark ride. Oh my god. You know, I'm not even going to play this game until next week myself. So I am gonna have the hype just freaking sitting there waiting for you guys until next Monday. Oh my god. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the content here, please leave a like and a comment down below. Go ahead and comment whatever you feel like. If I answered a uh, question earlier, go ahead and answer that. Uh, if you enjoyed the content here more so than not and you want to see more of it for sure, definitely hit that subscribe button down below as well as if you are interested about who the TLTPG is and who we are, where we come from, who we all are, I'll leave a link to the in the description to the Facebook page. And with that, on a magnificent, a, oh, such a wonderful cliffhanger, such a wonderful cliffhanger. My name is Sun Brother to you guys. <laughs> of all things, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Oh my gosh.